Hi! Hi folks! Well, it's sea shepherd time! Yeah! So all you boys and girls out there, get out your sea shepherd jewelry, because this seems to be the fashion statement sea shepherd has been making lately. But you also must get this out also. Suckers! <laughs> and I'll demonstrate to you why this sucker is important in reference to sea shepherd and also with their jewelry. Recently, a 24-year-old German, part of the Cove Guardians in Sea Shepherd, was arrested in Taiji, Japan, for damaging a statue. Once he got arrested, Sea Shepherd threw him out. Sucker! <laughs> because Sea Shepherd did not want to assume the cost of his defense, so they said, "Why well, you destroyed your, uh, Japanese property, we're throwing you out. That's not part of the agreement. Yet Peter Petula destroyed Japanese property, they defended him. Paul Watson, who destroyed Japanese property, they defended him and continued to help him stay a fugitive. No problem! <laughs> Suckers! Alright, so after this German was arrested, the Taiji authorities, they bring into questioning 12 to 13 Cove Guardians in for questioning. And then they released him. And after they released him, the police raided their hotels and confiscated their SD cards, their computers, and I think their cell phones. I'm not sure about that. So remember, Sea Shepherd, not to let an opportunity get wasted, they're appealing to who? The suckers around the world. Yeah! Sea Shepherd says, hey, we need to replace this equipment, even though the police said it will be returned in about two weeks. We need to replace this equipment to document the horrors going on in Taiji. We need $4,000 from you, suckers! <laughs> but here, it gets even better. Sea Shepherd did the right, well, I should say the right thing. There's a corresponding group also called the Taiji Action Group. And they're appealing to their people to raise money for Sea Shepherd Cove Guardians. They're asking him for $15,000. Huh? Sea Shepherd only asked for four. They want fifteen. dollars What are you taking? $11,000 finder's fee? Or suckers? <laughs> you keep giving money to the group. But here's what's interesting. They now call the Cove in Taiji. Recently, they're calling it the Blue Cove with this icon. And the reason why it's the Blue Cove, because no dolphins have been captured yet to be harvested, to be slaughtered, and turn the cove red. When that happens, they then say why the cove is red. See, with that icon, similar to that. Well, you know what I say? The cove is green, because they're appealing to suckers around the world. Sea Shepherd wants $4,000 to purchase equipment that they're going to get back within two weeks. And this other group wants $15,000 to purchase the $4,000 worth of it. <laughs> you gotta love it. Suckers! Now here's what gets interesting. On the Facebook pages for Sea Shepherd, the Cove Guardians, and that other group, Let's read some of the wonderful notes that the wonderful people who have such big hearts have left. It gets even better. Now they reported on Facebook that there are a bunch of Japanese students learning how to train the dolphins. And let's look at some of the notes left in reference to those Japanese students. See how compassionate they are. That's because they, what are they doing? They're appealing to suckers around the world, and hopefully more of them will be wearing Sea Shepherd jewelry. <laughs> All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. 
And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya! <laughs>